Today, J Mac tries to break 90. Playing a 6,550 yard course, he's a 13 handicap from the 6,050 yard tees and shot a flat 80 from those tees a few days prior to this round without a camera. In that round, he also made his second eagle. According to his handicap app, he's a 16 handicap from the 6,550 yard tees today. This is a massive leap for a lot of people. Adding 500 yards to a golf course means an extra 30 yards per hole on average. Let's begin. To break 90, there are a few key areas to work on. Ending three putts, getting out of bunkers first time, chipping the ball onto the green and closer to the hole than when you break 100, thinking about the plan on the hole instead of hitting and hoping, scoring more pars on the par fives and par threes, avoiding the hazards by all means necessary, accepting that bogey is a great score and par is a superb score, paying more attention to your lie and selecting the right shot and club for every situation. Golf is not copy paste. Here's where J-Mac has improved since his previous videos to move to DEFCON 80. One, he got a driver. This has helped him with more distance off the tee. His hybrid was great, but he was ready for the big dog. Two, he worked his tail off on his putting during lockdown and replaced his center shafted model with a nice Thor's hammer. His stroke is so much better. Three, no more chunking. I gave him my irons, which don't dig into the turf. The blade type irons did. Four, he's leveled up his mental game. He doesn't beat himself up over poor shots and moves on much quicker than before, always believing a birdie is around the corner. J-Mac is as cool as the other side of the pillow. A stoic master, Zen. Gonna keep it right. I missed this left yesterday and I was dead. You don't want to miss this green on the left, that's for sure. So you're going up on the right. Short right is even preferable, so maybe even a stick out there would be good. Oh, what a sweet swing. Might be a bit long. <laughs> nope, on the green, baby. Great shot. That's what you want. Ooh, easy partner, easy partner. Good putt, sir. How far left? Not too far, like that big hill. Oh, great shot, dude. Yeah. Great shot. Oh, not yeah. bad, not bad. That's fine. Well, what J-Mac has here is about a 26 yard shot. Gonna take, probably take the 58 degree. Pop it high up there. Now he's on the upslope. So he can probably give this some air and it's gonna sit down quite quick. So if he's gonna pitch it on, he has to pitch it far on, just like that. And look at that, it should sit down pretty quickly. Well played shot. Well played. Oh, fighting boy. Oh. Really look good, eh? Got a chance. Just like that. Absolute bomb, bro. Dang. Just down the slope there. I think you're gonna be laughing there, bro. Okay, you've got 236. Goodish, good enough lie. It's a bit of a side hill. Let's see. You're feeling like the hybrid's gonna glide through the grass better than yeah, the iron getting getting, getting caught, caught by the blades. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. I like that idea. Let's see. Yeah, look, even that's a little pullish, a little chunky, but on the grass, yeah. ready to play. Great shot. Now, players, what we learned on that previous shot there with J-Bone is that he thought the hybrid was a better play than the 7-iron because he felt if he hit the 7-iron, there's all that junk on the right. If he chunks it out of that fluffy lie side hill, he's more than likely going to shury it just in the water there. So he decided to take the long club, which could reach the green if on a flat lie, yeah. but he thought it'll glide through the grass better than a blade of a wedge or a blade of a 7-iron, that leading edge, which it did do. And he caught it a bit high in the face and he pulled it. And here he has a shot from 64 yards to the green for his third shot on a par five. Extremely good thinking. That's the J-Bone. 64 yards. 
Gonna have to chuck this one up there a little bit, but I'm gonna go a little bit more right of the pin than straight at it. There's a lot of trouble around that if you leave it a bit short and be tentative. Out to the right, lots of space, nice and easy. Love it. Oh, baby, get up there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's how to do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do a it. player. What about a little bit right? Talk about one yard right, just clearing that bunker. He's got a short birdie putt. So players, the key thing over there is that J-Mac aimed it right over where he is now, a little bit further right. Because look at all that green back there. He knew he would be, have a backstop, but he knows left here is dead. So out of that little fluffy lie, that ball can squirt left and right. But if he goes further right and it squirts right, he's on the green. If it squirts left like it did, look at that, birdie putt. Now Jay Bones planted the feather down there. It's a divot tool. You can only get that at waterplayergolf.com. It's the only feather you're allowed to plant on the green. And it works 60% of the time, every time. Planting the feather, growing the birdie. Get there, boy. Come on, boy. Now it's... Now it's oh, That'll take. I'll take that. Okay, no, you're going straight at those Lumo green Lumo things. Bushes, yeah. Right hand corner of the hotel. Yeah. Beauty. Beauty. Stunning hit, bro. A little bit to the right. Over the bunker, like a bounce. I'll trust you on that one. I didn't see it at uh, all. It, it started on your line and faded over the bunker. It's a perfect shot. Yeah. Okay, 97 <laughs> yards. 97 yards. Planting feathers, growing birdies. What a planter. What a man. So we're going 97, and what club do you like? Got a 52 for that. Can go 90 up to 100-ish if needed. This one will need to go about 100-ish with the wind. Okay. But it'll be better than hitting a knockdown pitching wedge. Cool. I think that's good. A little short right. Good part, good part. Well played, sir. Now that is what I like to see. That's very different, J-Mac, to what we saw last year. Yeah. And uh, how much time have you been spending on this putting? What have a you been doing? A lot. Went for one lesson. Found that I tend to actually keep my hands a little bit, sort of not low enough, and I have the heel of the putter down with the toe way, way up. So all the time hitting these like weird little left to right uh, spinny putts. Okay didn't really work so well then tried it with that center shafted putter that I had I literally felt like I had to stand over the ball like that to keep it down so I went and got a new putter yeah it seems to be working practice, quite nice practice the hell with it and you what were you doing to practice though uh, I got one of the Inesis putting mats at home during lockdown it was great really useful helping get the stroke going properly beautiful what a man Oh, a little rightish. That's way too What you may be noticing is that the classic course at Forest City leaves you a lot of uneven lies off the fairway. J-Mac had maybe six or seven even lies throughout this round. He's been really unlucky with his lies, but he's managed to keep his score intact despite some tough shots. This is a testing round, and it gets him more testing when you have a blowout hole like this. To learn to move on from a disaster hole is clearly one of the big things J-Mac has worked on. This comes from experience and confidence that you can recover. He's happy with bogey golf and sticks to the plan that if he can get onto the hole in one more than regulation, he will do well, plus score himself some pars along the way. Perfect shot. But very Perfect shot. easy onto the green from there. Perfect shot. You got yourself a knife. Now it looks like he's chipping with a pitching wedge. Probably the Callaway. The face is a bit less hot than the Srixes, so I think a bit more control on the chips. Let's see how he does. 
Had a little low skitter in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Probably something I would suggest there. Probably something more like a seven or eight iron. But these are shots J-Mac needs to learn. And I don't think he spends too much time doing the bump and runs. Tasty boy! Yes! What a saver! What a recovery! Yes! What a play! Dude, what a solid play! Bam, baby! On the right edge, no props. Okay, looks like J-Bone using the pitching wedge. Coming up onto the green, onto one tier, little swallow, little swale, onto the top tier here where we are. That looks like a tasty little chip, running it up. Oh, just go past the hole. Now watch that break, you see that? That's right to left there. Now that's what you wanna watch after your chip. You wanna see which way it broke, so that when you're hitting your putt, you have an idea. So I can tell him now that went right to left after the hole. Oh, good touch, man. It's just stayed strong. Driver wasn't behaving the way he was hoping, so he uses his new hybrid to get him in oh, play. Really He's not going not for player. this in two shots anyway, so no need today, to bring man. any big danger into play. Yeah, By the way, the Cobra hybrids feel as though they have cheat codes enabled. Yes, baby. Great shot. Oh man, you're gonna have a short one in there. Well played. Okay, so we've got 123 same as yesterday. A little breeze into you. Should hold it up a little, but uh, you know what to do here, player. You are really experienced. Oh, ho, ho! Not again. Not again. <laughs> he does something new that I've never seen him do. He backs away from the shot after he brushes the club into some grass on the takeaway. This is huge. I remember when he used to continue the shot and chunk it. Not this time, baby. What a player. Oh, that's good. Unless you've teed it through the wind. Shot boy! Yay! Better than yesterday Better than over yesterday. the back of the water. What a two pack man. So solid. Boom, baby. <laughs> oh, dude. J Bone. Damn, baby. Give that dog a bone. Now, J Meister, why did we decide on that club last night? Last night, well, I've played this hole twice before and 100% of the time, every time, twice in a row, have been <laughs> over that bunker in the water. With what? With a driver. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So three hybrid, straight down the middle of the fairway. It's not long. We are. 375. 375 yard hole. So I'll have a nice iron in. It'll be good. Yeah, well, look, it's definitely better than dropping at that water, feeling like a... Like a tonsil. Like a tonsil. It's <laughs> that's the a good only way, way to describe that's it. That's a good way of putting it. Oh. There's J Bone's. Oh, oh. I should be calling him J Mac, but he has advanced in years and ability, so he's been upgraded to J Bone. Now, there's the water that he goes in. My favorite swimming pool. My fa his favorite little pond ski. And now he's hit that hybrid to a place where even if he hits it off target with a fade, it won't even reach there. It won't even reach. It'll clear the bunker, but it won't reach that water. Absolutely brilliant play. This guy has stepped up his game. He can now be considered a true player. 157? 157. It's a little bit in between 7 and an 8. In between a 7 and 8. So I'm going to go with the 8, hit it a little bit harder, a little bit more committed than trying to manufacture a 7 iron into that. Way better. Love that. Love that. Let's see. In the panty. Hold the green, baby. Didn't even see it. Is it good? A little leftish, but it'll be okay. I don't know, J Bone. Looks like we may have a bit of uh, weather problems later. Yeah, it's no worry. Whatever we get through, we get through. Ooh, Easy line. Dude, that is deep. 
Are you, were you a philosophy major? Bachelor of Commerce, same thing, right? <laughs> yeah, some kind of philosophy. But now we are exercising the philosophy of the way of the player. Mm, the Tao of, of Steve. Masters in birdie administration. <laughs> uh, that was a real step up for me. <laughs> I love it, dude. You are the head of the International Birdie Bank. Yeah. Investment manager. Yeah. Well, how many have you taken out of the bank today, bro? Uh, none today, but I'm saving up for a big cash in later. No, you would not be working at Lehman Brothers, dude, because you got to raid that bank. I overborrowed the other day when I went for an eagle, so... <laughs> you didn't go for the eagle, you got the yeah, eagle. Yeah, that's why I say overborrowed a little bit on that. What a player. So now having to play it safe. <laughs> center of the panty oh supreme now why didn't you do the big driv er uh, went well yesterday but lost the swing a touch today it's been little poofies so bin it nice not bad not bad goes back in the bag can come out again another day what is this new hybrid you've got there because you have m m2 cracked huh m2 cracked the face we've gone for a cobra speed cobra zone speed zone and this thing is even better I'm gonna than have that to, M1. I'm going to have to look into that. What About, on average, 20 yards further. For real? On an M2? Real. On the M2. 20 yards further and straight as you like. 325 to the hole. What do you want into the green, do you reckon? 325. Let's try get it in with about 70 in. To 70? 70 or 70 to 100. 70 to 100. So you want to hit a shot, what? It's going to be a little dog leg. So it's probably playing more like 340. Mm. Three, yeah, about 340. So we want to go up the chute there, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll go 200 up there actually is still be fine. Be like just over 100, 120, 130 in. So we're looking at what? About a 200 yard shot? Yeah, 200 to 220. What do you like to do that? Four iron or that hybrid. I'm going to go hybrid again. Yeah. Thing is on fire. Yeah. We're just working. Yeah. Other thing about placing it in the fairway here of the tee. Even, even a bad shot here, like a top buff whatever you want that's still going straight down the middle still got another shot in after that easy life better than being over there which i've been again the other two out of 200 percent every time out of yeah we were you were other side of the water where your recovery shot is over the water yeah. again so wise play hybrid of the tee let's get the next one the same shot down there like a bounce oh mama Oh, over the bunker. What a man. How much you got? Got 95 in. 95? Yeah. What are you liking for that? It's normally a 52. It's normally a 52, but we're downhill a bit, downwind. Oh, someone's burning something at the construction site. It smells like a barbecue. Wait, just starting. Okay, so we've got 95. 95, but down, down so the you, lie. And you took a couple, I didn't film it, but you took a couple practice swings with a 52, mm. and you felt that downhill lie. Yeah. So what are we doing now? We're going 56 instead, a little bit more loft on it, and same normal swing I'd put on the 52, and let's see what happens. So, like, it, it's taking away some loft because of the downhill lie. Yeah. So maybe it's putting your 56 to, like, a 54. Yeah. Okay, great. I like it. Oh, great yeah. shot, dude. Middle of the green. Beautiful. It's okay, not bad. We'll take the six player, we'll take the six. Okay, cool. we've got 164, and it looks like you've lined it up right behind my divot. Why is that? Some, some champion said, line things up to just in front of your golf ball. Obviously, I can't go and put like a leaf there. That's a little, little, little bit no-no. <laughs> so, rather let him hit first, then tee it up behind his divot. You got something to aim for right in front of your club. Oi. So it's 175 yard into one foot. What a player. Oh, 
great strike. Okay, little right edge. Please stay short. Please stay short. Ho ho, bouncy, bouncy. Great miss. Yes, man. Come on, boy. What an up and down. Yes. Bam. See, players, this is the big difference is that J Bone, J Mac, whatever you like to call him has really worked on that putting game. He's been hitting it down the ruler. He's been hitting the little Inesis Matty board during quarantine, and it's paid off big time. Had one. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Little rightish, but you should be safe there. Yeah. Okay, we are now in the Hazard, but instead of taking a drop on that side slope over there, Jay Bones decided to play it from the Hazard and he's got a eight iron. eight iron to try squirt it into the fairway here toward the what's that the hundred yard sign? The one down there. Yeah. Hundred yards. Yep. Ah, see, so that's that's like just squirted out, and that's going to be a much easier shot from down that there. lie than from hitting your. Dropping two, hitting three from that lie below your feet. Good shot. Oh, dude, what a shot! I'm round. What a shot! Sit down. <laughs> Could be pretty. Unluckily, unluckily, J J Mac has absolutely beasted that a time. But you see, he was on that line. He actually hit it right in the panty. And it's pitched up here near the hole, but because it's a flyer, it's rolled out all the way to the back of the green, over the back. So he's got a tough chip, but he's got the shot now. And you could say hit the nine, but then are you committed to the nine? No, nah, then probably be in the bunker. Yeah, or some poofies. So good shot. Can't yeah. beat yourself up. It was no. a great shot. So That's golf sometimes. Get in the hole. Easy. Tasty boy. Oh, yeah. A little bit hot, but uh, some like it hot. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. No, no. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, miss right. It's more like center right of the fairway. Yeah, you definitely miss right a bit on that one. Not right in the middle of the fairway. No, it's right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, it's just the slope, it's not you. That's fine there, that's an up and down. Just get it on over the first hump, then release. Just like that, look at that, look at that shot. What a shot, great shot. Great shot. Beast. Okay, 95, what you hear? 52. No wind, no nothing, flat line. 52 is there every day. Beautiful. J Mac did not commit to that shot. He hit another one with commitment and he put it to four feet. For J Mac to get below 80 is so easy. He just needs to make a good plan decide the best course of action in the moment and commit 100% to every shot. And in fact, 10 days after making this video, he shot a 78 on the white tees on this very golf course in a group of four players. Absolute baus, and we will be seeing him in future on the channel, showing you just how power the way of the player is.
stupid fluffy shark. Okay, so we want to hit this one about like a 150 yard fairway shot, right? So we want to go 138 at least, at least from there. But how do you feel when you take a stance with an eight? What do you think? Look at it. Envision the flight, everything. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit low, which takes me into chunk in that. And even if I do catch it, it's probably going to be finished. Maybe skim the top of that. Maybe skim the top. Yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. I think your nine, nine. is fine. Nine is fine. Yeah. Got to you. Got to get in the sand, player, yeah. and then you got to stand at your ball. His feet are above the the ball there. So what he can do is he can actually go to where his feet are, and he can dig them in deep enough to make it level with the ball. That's the thing you can do in the sand. And then uh, what you do is look at the lip in front of you and the hill, and then decide if your trajectory is going to be high enough to get out of there. Oh man, that's. That's, that's money, bro. Oh, yes. Lucky you didn't go in the bunker. You're on the upslope. Yeah. I've seen you make eagles from that kind of place. Yeah. Oh, man, that is so hot, dude. So, so good. Is it on? I don't know. Can't see. Good touch, good touch. Yeah, hey, hey. I will take a drop up there. If you follow the steps and put in the work, you can drop from 120 down to 78, yeah. just like yeah. J-Bone. It only took him two years. Yeah. I'm really proud of J-Mac. He had some tough breaks on this round. I don't think he has much luck at all even for the first round from the blue tees. Another day, the ball bounces into more favorable positions and the dude puts up an 82 or 83. That's some great going. Exciting things happening with Jay Meister and we'll see the progress right here on this channel this year.